Hello, I'm Tim Daniels from LapsOfShutter.com and today I'm going to show you how to make your sunsets glow. We are going to go from this to this in just a few short and easy steps. If you want to take a shortcut and use it straight away on your photos, I've produced a totally free action pack for Photoshop, designed especially for landscape photographers. It contains a highlight glow action that does everything I'm about to do automatically. You can download it from LapsOfTheShutter.com. All this action does is to select the brightest parts of your photo up here and blur them slightly. But it does it in a way that's totally reversible and easy to control. This has the effect of making the brightest parts of your photos, in this case the light from the setting sun, soft and more luminous, while the shadows stay crisp and sharp. So let's delete this highlights go lower and start from the beginning. In order to select the brightest parts of the photo, we can create a basic luminosity mask. So we go to the channels palette and control click on the RGB thumbnail. This automatically selects the brightest 50% of pixels in the photo. Now this selection contains too many shadows to make an effective highlights glow layer. So we hold down control, alt, shift and click again on the RGB thumbnail. This multiplies the current selection by itself. So in effect, your new selection contains the brightest 25% of pixels in your photo. This means that the range of this selection is half that of the previous selection. You can click as many times as you want, and each time will make the selection more tightly focused on only the brightest pixels of the photo. So the selection gets smaller by half every time. Now for the purposes of the highlights glow layer, this selection will be perfect. So go back to the Layers tab, select the layer, and go to Layer, New, Layer via Copy. The keyboard shortcut for this is Control J. Now what this does is it copies the photo, but not all of it. It only copies the selection um, that we had previously. So if I just remove the background layer, it's only copied the brightest 25% of pixels in the photo. So let's rename this layer to Highlights Glow. And put it into a folder and we'll call that the same name. Now we want to select the Highlights Glow layer. Go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur and set it for 75 pixels. This looks too much, but it won't be in a minute. So, we've applied the, the blur. Now we'll select the folder, and let's change the blending mode to soft light. Okay, now we'll switch it off. There's the before, there's the after. That's pretty good. If you're happy with that, you could stop there, but I think there's a couple of other little little tweaks you can have to improve it. First of all, let's select the Highlights Glow layer and duplicate it a couple more times. This just has the effect of making it a little bit stronger, giving you a little bit more control. You can turn off individual layers if it's too strong. If it's not strong enough, you can keep duplicating, or you can change the blending mode of the folder to overlay perhaps. But I think that's too strong for us. Go back to soft light. Now this looks pretty good, but there is one problem here. If you look at the before, and you look at the after, it's not only blurred the brighter layer, it's brightened them as well. Now we want to try and recover these highlights. So, what we can do is control and click on uh, one of the highlights glow thumbnails. And then add a levels layer. Now if you push the dark point back to about 30, and we push the midpoint to about 0.5, That should recover the highlight. So let's switch it off as before 
is after it's darken the highlights and switch the entire folder off. Pretty much the same kind of brightness level, just uh, some nice highlight glow. Now, just to finalize it, I mean, if you're happy with that, you can stay and save it. For a final tweak, you can add a layer mask to highlight slave folder and gently paint out any areas you don't want to glow. In this case, it's the rocks on the left and trees around the edges of the riverbank. So I set the opacity for 30%. Now I'll just paint. Keep going over it until you're happy. I want the glow to be focused around these um, hills in the distance. So we don't want too much down here or over here on the left hand side I think. So there is the highlights glow layer. That's the one I just painted. So the So this is the layer mask I've just painted. And I think that now is a finished photo. So there's the before. Without glow, there's the after with some nice glow. Now although we're using this technique on a sunset photo here, although it really boosts sunset photos, here's another example. You don't have to use it on sunset photos, you can use it on any photo where there's a bright light source. So if there's uh, street lights for example, it can you can have a nice glow effect on those. And even on these, uh, there's some glow around these street lights. You can see there's glow around the around the signs. And I use this technique on nearly all of my photos, to give it a little extra oomph. Now uh, I know this can seem a little complex when you first encounter it, but don't forget there's a free action pack available from LapsTheShutter.com with all of these actions in. And if you want to know how I got my photo to the before stage here, then you can have a look at my free Landscapes Masterclass course at lapsoftheshutter.com. And also have a look at my other uh, free resources, so the Lightroom Develop System, the Photoshop Landscape Color Grades. In the Landscapes Masterclass, we go from this photo to this. There's a, a full text tutorial plus video.